You're watching Fishmonger Jim. Yeah. Nice. So about a year and a half ago, I had an idea in my head that I was going to learn how to... I was going to teach myself how to tan leather, how to vegetable tan leather. Yeah. So that by the fall of the following year, I would have the ability to tan a piece of striped bass skin to be used in some kind of awesome project. That image that I had in my head is this skin right here. After I stretched it out, after a year and a half of figuring, after a year and a half of, of finding out everything I could possibly understand about vegetable tanning leather, I arrived at this piece and I have worked so hard on getting to this piece it kind of it didn't occur to me what it meant to have this piece in front of me all stretched out as it was indeed the image of the striped bass skin that I had in my head and I mean I'll tell you you guys that watch these movies with any regularity I have worked through some stuff to get through to get to this stage right here and that is the iterations uh, just a, a tremendous amount of work went into that piece of fish right there we went through the first i think i did the the um oak uh, acorn caps and then we went to the oak bark which is this here white oak bark and then to uh the cedar and we did the pitch pine. This is a striped bass skin in pitch pine. I thought that was going to be the one, but you can see the difference. Way too dark. You know, that, that wasn't the image I had in my head. It was that. So then I switched over to the sumac. And I talk a lot about, on this channel, I talk a, a lot about finding meaning, having goals, uh, being worthy of those goals. Uh, you know, being able to accomplish those goals in a meaningful way. And that is exactly what I have done, is accomplished a goal. In this movie, you're going to see how I did it. If you're interested in any of this other stuff, check out my playlist with a creative name like um, How to Tan Fish Skin Leather or something like that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. So this is the sumac. You can tell by the uh, by the antler. It's got an antler on it. That one right there. That is the antler. There we go. All right. That's um, probably suitable for what I have planned. And we don't actually need this part. In fact, we're going to leave that here so it can recede if that's what it's going to do. That's it. And we're just going to leave that there until uh, until it's dry. Probably like four or five days. till it's crispy. So you can grab the, um, the leaf and they crinkle. Well, good morning there, Jigs. Did you have a good sleep? How you doing, buddy? Hey, what do we got up there? Hi, buddy.
lakeside thing is. That's the pole winner today. It ain't saying much. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got him. We got him. All this perseverance. It all paid off. Long, 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 long day. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Damn. Again. That is leg sized. Come on, bud. Just calm yourself. You're going to be all right. Just stay still, all right? Please. I'll let you go in just a second. Yeah. I mean, it's probably four o'clock. That's a, uh, that's 12 hours of, of active fishing before I finally catch a decent fish, right? Look at that. Look at that. That is a beauty. Look at that. With the sun there and all. Look at that. Oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah, buddy. You made my day. Oh, calm it. Please calm it down. I mean, I do need some, some pickerel skin for making leather but definitely not this guy definitely not this guy he's too nice all right buddy you have yourself a good no oh look at that look at oh that. my gosh so i caught a pickerel here that had a rooster tail in its gill and its gill was messed up like that and he was a big one like this too maybe the same one huh oh that's awesome i could leave now I probably should. My back is just dicked.